Hi everybody, this is John Morrow, Distinguished Toastmaster. First of all, I want to say thanks for being a member of my family, participating in the podcast that we've been doing. As I take you through the journey of my mother's Alzheimer's experience and the message of my book and my keynote speech, I never noticed. I want to do something a little bit different today. I want to take a few minutes just to tell you a story about me. And I'm really, in a sense, bearing my soul to you because the truth is, the man that you've had the opportunity to meet through this process is the result of a series of failures. Failures are sometimes perceived as something terrible, but in reality, what I have learned, thanks to the counsel of great mentors, professional speakers, superb educators, great teachers of truth in church and in other venues, as well as dear friends, is that these failures are the beginning point of new learning, new experience. But the one thing that I had the most difficulty with, imagine me trying to talk to you right now, and I'm turning and I'm looking at this wall right here. So as I'm talking to you, I'm looking at this wall, and it's almost as if I'm talking to the wall and not to you. When I was younger, one of the problems that I had was that I could not and did not focus on the people that were speaking to me and that I was speaking to. And I was told time and time again during my early professional career, John, look at the people that are speaking to you and look at them when you're talking to them. When you look in other directions, you will find yourself losing their interest and they will think you don't care about what they have to say. I say all of that to tell you this. I learned an acronym. I created it myself. However, it's probably an acronym that others have thought about. It's a simple acronym. The letters are S E. E, C. The S stands for show. The E stands for empathetic. And the second E stands for engagement. Show empathetic engagement with the people that you're talking to and listening to. Believe me when I tell you, the day that you learn to show people that you care about what they say, you are affirming to them something that I believe fully in as a professional speaker and as a Toastmaster. You have something worth saying, and it's worth being heard. Therefore, we need to see more and talk less. I hope you have a great day.